All right, guys. Um, welcome back in to Kurt Magoo Sports. I haven't done um, a lot of film reviews in the past week, but I'm really excited to kind of get back on the train of, uh, of film reviews. And today we, we are going to review four Nebraska Cornhuskers, um, and we're going to try to upload them very soon. This is Emmett Jones, and Emmett Jones is from, uh, you know, a small town right outside of uh, Minnesota. I believe it's the school, it's a school of angels. It's kind of like south of Eden Prairie. Um, I'm going to get into his highlights, though. I apologize for not knowing the name of his high school. So he's a six foot running back. He looks like he weighs 195 pounds. And this is the type of runner that I really like to see. Um, because when you look at this, at this guy's tape, this guy runs north and south, and he also runs very aggressively, meaning he sees the hole and he takes it. You know, some running backs are very hesitant, but this guy's a home run hitting running back, all right? And, and that's why uh, there, there's, there's really a ton of like when I looked at this kid's film tonight. So here, the thing that I like so much about uh, this run in particular is sudden burst of speed. Like, that's what I really appreciate is his subtle cutting ability. Look at him dip and cut both ways without slowing down. So let's see if he has his head up. It's great vision that he has. And then he has an opportunity to go out of bounds. He cuts it back and just makes a tremendous, tremendous play. Now, I know he gets gassed at the end of this run, um, but it's a phenomenal, phenomenal run. And I love that he didn't go out of bounds uh, so he can be physical. Um, now, sometimes when you look at home run hitters like this and you look at an athlete in Emmett that looks like at times he's going to be more talented than the guys that he's playing with, um, sometimes maybe the evaluation can be difficult. Here it's one read and go, and he rips this along the sideline, and he's flying out the gate. So um, I just love the decisiveness. I love running backs that can – who doesn't love a running back that can hit a home run um, immediately? Um, you know, they utilize him in motion here. He did play defense as well, follows his blockers, gets to the second level. This could be a, a real, real – I have really high hopes for, for Emmett Johnson. I really do. I love the way that this kid plays the game. You could probably – he could definitely be a pass catcher. He's certainly athletic enough to do that. But he has elite-level traits that you look for at the running back position. He has great vision. He has speed, elite speed. But this cutting ability inside is going to translate so well because, look, he goes up the gut, but there you can see how he kind of prods his way through this, this line of scrimmage. Watch him. He prods his way through and cuts and, and still keeps his balance as he's cutting in the middle of the field. So this run is just tremendous, all right? Like the juking and cutting ability that Emmett has in the middle of this field, this is just exceptional, all right? And um, the coach that's coming from Nebraska from TCU, Applewhite, Brian Applewhite, um, he, he also coached, you know, a, a great running back in, in Ty Evans who played at TCU, but he's had success pretty much everywhere with running backs, and he's running a pro-style offense with Mike Bobo at Colorado State, so he's going to have very good continuity with the concepts that are going to want to be run uh, by uh, Mark Whipple. All right, so here he's out there playing corner. Mark Whipple can certainly run some toss sweeps. And the great thing, too, you see his aggressiveness, right? And that's, of course, what Coach Bush, uh, Bill Bush, I believe, Bill Bush is going to love this kid on special teams to start because this is exactly what you need in a gunner on special teams as you're a freshman trying to break into that running back group. But the great, the interesting part is that I don't believe they brought in a transfer at running back. So you have Ramir Johnson, you have Irving who looked really good but then ended up getting injured. Um, so, I mean, this kid is going to have real chance to get on the field immediately. Look at how he doesn't quit on this play. You just 
just learned so much about a kid from watching his tape, and he doesn't quit on this play, all right, and he makes a big play. Now, how is he going to be with physicality? How is he going to be when, when you know, when, when the running lanes aren't as clear, but you don't see any hesitation, all right? He goes, and he, he's a downhill runner, and that's what I love, all right? I love downhill runners. I, I know that there's some Le'Veon Bell types or guys that just have to wait for the play to, um, to be set up, but this kid is just dominating his competition. Now, he maybe won't be as successful if maybe the speed of the Big Ten, um, maybe the speed of the Big Ten will be a lot, but I just want to see this kid, you know, get on the field. Um, you know, I was evaluating Demarcus Bowman, who's at the University of Florida, and he didn't really see the field a lot at Clemson. And at Florida, he's been hurt. And at Florida, you know, he um, was like a speedster like this guy. And, you know, maybe there's some times where speedsters, I don't, I, I mean, I hope Demarcus Bowman could still really pan out. But you know, sometimes you hope that speedsters um, like this kid, that even in the Big Ten, the competition won't be overwhelming. But I do trust the evaluation, and I believe maybe he's a three-star because of maybe competition because I don't really have any idea. The good news, if I was recruiting in college, I love everything about this kid. You're seeing the way that this kid hits. This kid is really, really exciting. Um, I love all the kids in this. You know, I like a lot of the kids that are coming to Nebraska in this class, but Emmett Jones, to me, has the ability to maybe be just as special and and so important to everybody in this class, this three-star kid out of Minnesota. All right, just his cutting ability is special. Look at how he prods his way through that hole, finishes the run, This kid at six feet, I mean, he has just elite-level traits, elite-level cutting, elite-level running of the ball. This could be one of these gems, these undercover gems that Scott Frost found in suburbs of Minnesota here. Um, You know, the coldest is going to come in. Uh, We're going to review Ernest Hausman uh, from Columbus, Nebraska, up by North Platte. Uh, seems like a beautiful place uh, to, to grow up is North Platte and Columbus, Nebraska. Um, you know, again, football out there, um, I'm sure is just tremendous on Friday nights out there in North Platte and Columbus. Columbus. So you have Ernest Hausman uh, also in this class. Um, but there's there's talent in this class, in this field. The coldest, um, Jaden Gould, um, and... Um, and Jaleel Martin from Chicago as well. And a lot of wide receiver transfers are coming into the program. A lot of wide receiver transfers. But you just see the way that this kid can hit. And this kid's going to immediately be an impact with Bill Bush on special teams. He's exactly the type of guy that Bush likes. But guess what? If he wins the running back job, you could throw the football out to this guy and I'm not saying that he's Bijan Robinson because that would be comparing him to the best running back in the whole in college football. But he does seem like he could take screens from Casey Thompson and make it into a positive gain. So my expectations here for Emmett Johnson, I want to see this kid get on the field. All right, at Nebraska, um, I think that they've been missing, you know, a running. They've been missing that home run hitting elite level running back for a long time. And I really want to see him compete under Apple White. Now, in these highlights, too, you see him breaking off a lot, a lot of long runs. And in the Big Ten, he's going to have to get tough three, four-yard runs. Sometimes when the offensive line is not blocking as well, you're going to have to make do and get like three or four yards and stay on schedule and really get those tough yards. And, you know, luckily here, you know, he had a lot of running room. So that's something to watch for Emmett Johnson. But overall... I'm thrilled about his highlights. I cannot wait to track his progress at spring football and, of course, this season for Nebraska.